What is going on, guys? It is your host, Fly Stewie, back in the building. Swag is over all the trillions, guys. Today, we are doing a gameplay review. I'm going to show you one of the teams that is doing pretty well in Axie Infinity and show you ways that you can improve your gameplay. If you like the videos like this and you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, because we do this multiple times a week, guys. Now, one of the best ways to improve in Axie Infinity is to go through gameplay, to look at your past games, and to see, hey, did I have the card count right? You know, did I, did I count the energy right? Was there a better move to play? A lot of times in the heat of the moment, it's hard to make those analysis, guys. So what we're gonna do here is, right now, the actual, our actual Discord and specifically our scholarship program has absolutely been exploding. We have 13 scholars, and one of the best ways to help them improve is actually going through and watching their gameplay to see how they've been doing. So we're gonna watch one of my scholars here. This is actually my third ever scholar, Jahadin, and see how he's been doing in his game um, and see if what he's been doing right and maybe if there's any areas he can improve on here. So we're gonna open up his games here and watch one of his games and see what's going on here. So he runs an Aqua, a Dusk, and a Plant, a team that was very ideal for last season but with the nerfs, as you know, the Dust Terminator, basically all of these cards except for Sticky Goo got nerfed. <laughs> the crit bonus got nerfed. Everything about my dude here got nerfed. But even with all those nerfs, I still think he's a very viable Axie. By the way, guys, we're rocking out on YouTube. We got Spencer in the building, Wandu in the building, Angelo in the building. Angelo says, when do you think you're going to pick a scholar again? Guys, I'm actually probably going to pick two new scholars. That's right. I'm going to announce it. Two new scholars probably this Saturday. It's not official yet. I think I know the teams I want to give them, but it's not official. So Shahadin's going against a pretty competitive team here. You have a discard bug right off the bat. This guy probably would want him here. If he had, if this guy had fish snack, it would have really been a hard aqua to beat this guy a lot of damage you can't heal against him very very powerful and oh lord this is a pretty hard team so he has to kill this guy before he gets to this terminator because if he gets to the terminator it'll be good night for him but of course we got a jumping with dull grip and aqua and um garish very powerful axie dust terminator as i said and damage plant this is almost close to a Disarmor, but it's not right there. This is the same as a Disable Sword. So off the bat, gets rid of a card, dose for damage. Now against people who need to go back door like this Aqua, discard cards are very powerful. And he gets rid of two of his cards right off the bat. Three of his cards in the first turn. Oh my gosh. Wow. So now next turn, Jahadin's able to strike, gets hit with the damage nullify. So this is a very annoying team he's going against. Oh my god. And look at this. Six energy, no cards. This is absolutely crazy. So let's see if how Jahadin turns this around. Again, this guy is just going at him. The one thing I'll say is this, even though he has a lot of annoying axes, it doesn't look like he necessarily knows how to play the best. Like he's using this sticky goo on the back line, using the numbing to finish him off. Like there's a lot of weird things this guy is doing here, even with such an OP annoying team. That doesn't to me say that he's doing the best. Like again, look, he's using the scar guys and then he's using sticky you at the end i'm i'm not sure do you have to use sticky you to use the scar i don't think you do have to use it with sticky you so just confused there what's going on jahadin has 10 energy and is not even going at this point <laughs> oh my god it's almost like jahadin's internet got disconnected Actually, maybe his internet did get disconnected. 
And then finally he's able to attack. A new move. He gives Jihad enough time to attack. Look at this. Is this a comeback, guys? Is this a comeback? He finally gets his combo. So again, this is the only powerful move he has. All of his other attacks are relatively no damage. So this team looks like a team that's just breeding axes, but not really trying to be competitive because it would not take much for this team to be competitive. Imagine this team, but with a pokey somewhere. <laughs> Imagine like some, one of these guys having a dull grip, like wouldn't take much to make this team competitive. Merwin says playing while giving tips, what a great manager you are. Hey Merwin, that was what's up. Really appreciate that. And then here we go. Gets rid of the first Axie here and the second Axie. So again, it has a bunch of energy, not enough cards to use it. And look at this guy, just poison ticking away. We basically got a one-on-one -on -one here. And that's the thing with discards, right? You're at least gonna get three cards each turn. So I'm sorry, this has to be the greatest comeback of all time. <laughs> that damage nullify, what an annoying card. <laughs> At this point you're discarding like negative cards here. Damage nullify. Yup, you knew that was coming. Oh my god. And then he's gonna be at 20 HP now. <laughs> and there it is. And notice how he finishes him by chomping through his shield. So just a great game. Not much really commentary we could give on that one on what he did well. I think what he did well is he didn't panic. He was patient. Even though the Scar guy was getting rid of all of his cards and he was numbing him to get rid of, you know, stop him from playing. Jihad in there was able to keep calm, keep cool, keep collected, gather his thoughts. And when he had time to play and go back door, he used back door to get rid of that very disgusting numbing Axie. So let's see if there's one more video in the Discord we can review here. We're going to review a very similar team. This is by... Um, Rapid Ramsey is actually our 10th scholar, 10th out of 13 scholars, as you know. Um, so he's a bit newer. He only has two weeks of really. Okay, let's exit this first. Only has two weeks of gameplay experience. So we'll see how a newer player plays in this game and see what the strengths and the weaknesses are. Now, what's very important about that last game is pay attention to the order of moves that Jihad did when he went back door. Sometimes he used Dull Grip first, sometimes he used Poison first, and all of them had a purpose. The order that you play your cards is very, very important. So we're going to go here when we start it up. So first turn, so first turn, Rapid Ramsey uses the double pumpkin. I would say here, especially going against an Aqua team, an Aqua team's not going to take you out first. They're not going to be able to take you out first most of the times, even though you have a, a, um, a plant with low HP. There's no need to uh, go to 282 first round, so you're gonna get a good draw, but with this type of build, you don't have any real way to get the energy. Actually, you do have Disguise, so you can get a lot of energy here, but. Now I don't need to put this much defense on. Even though now he has two energy, this might be a good time to yam here, but we'll see what happens here. So they both skipped the next turn. 
and then we have a backdoor shrimp again this guy somewhat predicts the backdoor so goats card heavy on this guy here actually he had most of his attacking got cards here so kind of got lucky in that aspect too the double tail whip so he's going to be at four energy next round makes it very hard to play and i like this putting risky first even though risky's effects not going to take place as you guys know um risky's effect so risky's attack goes up when attacking plant and reptiles um the thing here though is notice how he's using two poison cards he used two poison cards and the poison is in left and that's because to activate the poison effect you have to chain it with a card like mystic rust which is a bug card so when a card says that you you know to, to activate it it needs to be played in chain make sure you play it with a bug card in another axie to get that chain going and activate it another thing i'll say is Risky is typically the best play first, although notice how he attacked in Aqua and Aquas don't activate Risky's extra attack bonus. So in that case, you probably want to use the two poison ticks first, the two poison cards first. That way, by the time you're attacking your next card, the poison ticks will go off. So there's some areas there where, you know, slight optimization, but again, uh, definitely the first weeks of playing. And now this is going to be a harder time to go because he has these two tail whip cards to generate energy. He's bringing you in deep waters. You don't have a way to generate energy and get around this plants without real beast damage. This is the only beast card you have. Actually, uh, he has two beast cards here, Dull Grip. So let's see how he's able to play this. So this is going to be a 1v3 Dust Termy situation. And remember, Dust Termies get you out of situations you should never win. A lot of times. Oliver says he did not put up the leaf bug. Yeah, leaf bug's a great card because, of course, you're able to get your energy way up with it. Okay, let's see here. So now it's all up to this Termi to get the job done. Um, here, I would almost, you have two energy. Do you want to take risks here? Maybe you just do the one Mystic, one Allergic if you want to take a risk. Puts up his most defense. Now, normally they don't attack so heavy here, which is interesting how this aqua attack so heavy no need to be that eager i think that will definitely cost this aqua honestly don't have to be this eager here because here this guy would have had so much cards so much energy and now he's low on cards but so Uses the double mystic. Now you probably didn't want to use the double mystic here. Um, just because he has such escape. If he had um, Koi, double mystic would be good, but probably didn't want to use the double mystic here, but we'll keep going. And then in these situations here, Order is super important, so he's gonna burst through your shield, and this is where you want to put the the allergic first, because the allergic, if you put it first, you're gonna hit right through his shield. But he puts the stick of you here first, um, so missed opportunity to do some real damage there. But again, still learning in the game. Wangdu says, is this a comeback? It looks like a comeback. Honestly, even though you have a 1v2 situation, this player here is not managing his cards right at all. He should be passing turns on this guy and really letting this guy line up cards here. But again, he's not really getting the cards on this guy that he wants. He's only getting cards here, so 
I see right here, this guy should be passing. Why isn't he passing? Why does he keep attacking? Uh, I don't get it. And then because of that, Rapid Ramsey is able to secure the, the defeat on this guy. So this is a 1v3 situation, remember? And he's playing against a very aggressive player that keeps just getting at him. And look at this, times his, has his timing perfect. Also didn't use a swift escape. So this player is just playing terribly. Oh my God. Didn't use the swift escape, guys. So the reason why I'm freaking out is this guy could have won the game if he just used swift escape. That way, when he gets hit, he'll speed up and he would have had the speed advantage to take care of him here. But now with Rapid Ramsey, this guy's stunned. Rapid's gonna go right through his shield and secure this win, so. No, plays the. <laughs> so, remember when this guy's stunned here, you can go right through his shield with an allergic. Using Mystic first does damage to the shield, but it doesn't do the optimal amount of damage, so. Even though you still secure the win, <laughs> definitely taking the, the harder route around. So all in all, good game, secured the win right to the buzzer, confirms the 1v3, but there definitely is precision points and ability for Rapid to really pull the game around. Yangver says he could have won already that round if only he activated the poisoned. That's true, because that guy would have been bleeding with the poison. So this is definitely going to be a great game for Rapid to watch to really get his Axie game to the next level. But again, guys, if you like these type of review videos where I go over and show what someone is doing great in their gameplay and where they could have some improvement, let me know. And guys, that's it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and tell me how you are finding the new season. Do you think season 19 is the best season so far? Let me know in the comments. It's been your boy Fly Stewie and we Flight Crew, we gotta take off. Peace!